Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a singles love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. That means this could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. For the collective, what is coming in for the collective Aquarius? We're going to pull some personality and trait cards to kind of get an idea of like who this person is, what they're like, what they look like. Um, okay. So who is this person? Who's coming in for you? Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is for a collective. Deep skin tone. So some of this person may have like a deeper skin tone. They could be a fellow Aquarius. They may have an average build. Now, with this kind of thing, your definition of what you would consider average versus maybe what I would consider average can be different. So, this person already has kids. They may have piercings, have had them in the past, or it could be something that they actually just really find very, very attractive. Okay, this person loves to travel. They're compassionate. They have fuller lips. Libra energy. They have freckles, or maybe they find them very attractive. And this person is very smart. Okay? I mean, I like this overall. This person seems, you know, really kind, really gentle, really sweet. But they like to travel, like to get out, like to do things. Family oriented. Let's find out some more things about them. Tell me about this person. Who's coming toward Aquarius? Who, who is coming towards Aquarius, please? Clear messages and guidance. Who is coming in? Who is this person? Who is coming in for you? Who is this person? Okay. The love of your life? I, like, um, they're, it's mutual. You love this person. They love you. They're, so they're very compassionate. We have the Well and the Ace of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. Who is this person? And the Five of Cups. I think Pisces also had the Five of Cups. I do feel like this person ha was really very hurt in a past situation, but I do not feel like it's something that still holds this person back. They might be, you know, obviously a little bit nervous to kind of, you know, put themselves out there or, you know, um, express how they feel. But this person has been wishing and trying to manifest, you know, a stable, committed love connection. This person is excited about this. They've had a lot of time. I feel like this person's been single for a while. And it's not because they can't, you know, meet someone else or any of... It's like they're waiting for the right person. Like, I just see this, like, very, like, um, deep in thought type of energy here. Like this Eight of Cups kind of reminds me a lot of like the Hermit. Like this person has given like a lot of consideration to the type of partner that they would want. You know, I do like this because it's like this person's not someone who just settles in relationships just to be dating, right? They, they're they looking for someone they truly feel a, a sincere connection with because they may have done that in the past where they, you know, pursued someone or went out with someone because they were just bored or this person was nice or maybe attractive, but they just kind of quickly learned on that every time that they do something like that, they've just found themselves hurt or disappointed. And so it's like now they're like really recognizing the true qualities they want in a partner. Like, yeah, it's nice to have somebody who's fun, but it's also nice to have somebody who knows how to find balance and fun and also being like really grounded. I'll tell you more about this person. More about this person. The world, okay? For some of you, this person could travel for work. We have Capricorn energy here. <clears throat> the hangman, that's Pisces. And the five of pentacles. I don't feel like this person makes, like, you know, a ton of money or something. I don't feel like they're financially bad off or something either. But it's like they really, what's more important to them is to do something that they really love and truly enjoy. Like, they're not going to be tempted 
you know, by the possibility of making a ton of money, but, you know, feel like they're going kind of against their true beliefs or something that doesn't really align with them. They'd rather be happy. They'd rather enjoy themselves. I do feel like this person, like, again, loves traveling. And when you meet this person, they may, like, be in the process of traveling. Like, it, it could be that maybe you are traveling when you meet this person. Like, maybe you're on vacation or something. Or they're traveling when they see you, meet you. <clears throat> Yeah, I just, I don't feel that this person really cares about money all that much. I mean, aside from like, you know, obviously like your basic needs and like hoping for security, that's not everything to this person. How can you meet this person or maybe what would your relationship be like? <clears throat> yeah, there's something here about travel, like either you're traveling or they're traveling. If you have an upcoming vacation, it could be that. Um, or like I said, they could be coming um, toward wherever you are. Cancer energy. And Aries energy. Out of the deck is the Four of Cups. I, you know, I feel like you and this person are kind of mirroring in a way. It's like maybe you haven't dated in a while. And it's not because you don't have options out there that you couldn't try to pursue or find someone. But it's like... You know, I'm just kind of tired of meeting, like, people who just are acceptable and not, like, extraordinary. And I want to say this in a way that's... I, ne I don't personally have any belief that anyone is unworthy or not extraordinary. Everyone is unique and special in their own ways. But in this kind of mindset of that person just doesn't feel right for me. Like, I need somebody who really stands out. I need somebody who really knows what they want and loves to go on adventures and try... Like, just a lot of emphasis here in regards to like travel, the chariot, the fool. For some of you, you could actually travel for work. And so again, it's important for you for maybe to have a partner who also travels or um, is okay or understands, you know, sometimes it's, you want somebody you can have fun with. You want somebody you can cut up and be yourself with. And I feel like that's how this person kind of comes into the picture. There's something here about travel. You meet this person through some form of travel, short-term travel. But it's exciting. It's like, I, I honestly, I feel like both you and this person both don't mind somewhat of a long distance relationship as long as both people make a true effort. Like you're happy to go to them. They're happy to come to you. But you're both consistently trying and not, you know, falling short of, you know, your plans or expectations of each other. So that's what I have for y'all. I am going to keep this short and sweet. Um, and the reason for that is I'm doing two Aquarius readings this week. So you'll know one... Uh, general love read will pop up right after this one. Okay, I'll, I'll upload them at the same time. Um, but if you guys start actually watching these reads, because every time I do singles, it's one of the most requested things that I get. Nobody watches them. Okay, y'all, I'm telling you like two, three hundred views a piece. It is not worth my time to sit here for 15, 20 minutes for 200 people to watch it. <laughs> so if you guys start consistently watching these, I'll make them longer or do these more often, either or. That's what I have for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.